guys and welcome to the uh, part 8 of Star Stable Online Let's uh, uh, Play Through. And today we continue doing the side quests. Side quests. Uh, I think we're gonna do uh, Tools of the Trade uh, by Conrad or Smith over here and, <coughs> and maybe the way over the water. That is uh, at the Numos Highland over there. We will be building bridges, and I don't remember what we are going to do with Conrad, so let's go get on with it. Mm. Well, good day. Greetings to you and your fine horse. You look young and strong. Maybe you would help me with a small task. Just the other day, my old assistant, Patrick, was bringing me a shipment of finest tools from Yorick's stables. He was just arriving uh, when one of those bobcat girls came racing down the Damascus mine road and almost rode him down. He got so scared that he ran all the way here, but he dropped all the tools along the way. He's a bit of a chicken. <laughs> and he refuses to go back out there. So my new tools are just lying out there somewhere, rusting away. I don't have the time to go look for them myself, but maybe you could help me out. Uh, I would be extremely grateful, young, young lady. The shipment contained a hammer, uh, pliers and a shiny pickaxe uh, of finest Yorick steel. I will get them for you, Conrad, because you're a nice guy. <clears throat> and uh, yes, and there they are on that road. Oh, and I could. Uh, I think there was a star inside the Talmascus mine, or I can take it when we need to go inside, but. Let's see, there's one. Uh, kind of pliers, uh, mining brig, and last one. And he became visible, invisible. Uh, that's not, uh, that's a nice, uh, superpower to have. <clears throat> Here are your things. Ha! You're an angel, Evelyn. This is indeed a great day. I am so happy that you were able to find all my tools. Uh, forging metal on my anvil uh, into the finest horseshoes is what I do. As a druid and a member of the Keepers of Aedin, I strive to protect this island from expo exploitation. I am now going to ask you for some precious uh, Jorvik steel. Uh, I therefore want to in, uh, emphasize that I will use it with great gr great care and responsibility. I thank uh, this island every day for the uh, valuable gifts uh, it brings us islanders. Horseshoes uh, made out of Yorick steel uh, could make your horse fly. In ancient times, people used to mine steel from the Des uh, Damascus mine over in the west. Take this pickaxe and bring me five lumps of steel. You will be greatly rewarded. Let's go. I remembered right. We must go there right now. And I will get my star. What's the star over here? Let's just take a fast look. Uh, nope, it's on the other side. Yeah. But uh, can I pick them up from my saddle? Nope. I have to come down. Okay. Let's just leave Starkeeper there. Follow my eye. <coughs> 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 
Sorry, I needed to cough. Maybe you heard it a little bit. Uh, there it is. You found a star. What number was it? It was number four. of this metal is a dream come true. Let me start working on the shoes for your fine steed. They will carry you safely and swiftly. This may take some time, so don't forget to come back here later and see if I'm done. Are you done? These horseshoes will be uh, better than I could... Uh, these horseshoes will be better than I could have ever imagined. If I only had some shiny ghost or... I could uh, make them even better. Like in the old days when ancient items were full of magical and secret powers. What do you need me to do? Take this pickaxe and ride to Jarlos' tomb, close to Doyle's Abbey. Use the pickaxe, uh, pickaxe to mine shiny ghost ore from the ancient rocks. I only need two lumps of this rare metal. <clears throat> well, I shall go there. And might as well go through just straight through this. So the Jarlos tomb is right next to the Dolis Abbey that we were in. And ah, oh, there was a star. I remembered right. <coughs> And that was the seventh star. Now I have four stars. <coughs> Excuse me, I need to go off. And now I will have some water. <sighs> That's some good ass water. <coughs> I just coughed and sneezed at the same time. Not a fun time. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. Up, oh, up, oh, ah, oh, what? Ah, I don't suppose you've seen a four prong stitching punch lying around anywhere? It's sort of like a chunky fork, no? Oh dear. My name's Farah, and this handsome feathered yet fellow is Toby. Uh, we were on our way to Veldale when I hit a bumpy patch in the road, and well, you can see the mess I made with all these supplies. <coughs> Veldale? What is that? It's a very charming village in the hollow woods. Perhaps you've been? I'm going to set up a workshop there, right on the banks of the Silver Song River. Mm -hmm. But right now I have to focus on finding the supplies that fell off the char cart. Uh, some of them are irreplaceable. Mm -hmm. I could help? Mm -hmm. Really? That would be amazing. It will go oh, so much faster if we work together. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's do this fast so I can get. I see you found my loom. Did you know that uh, in the 19th century they made looms equipped with punch of cards, a streamlined weaving process? Uh, they inspired Ada Lovelace uh, and were a stepping stone to the first computers. I love crafting history. Mm hmm. Uh, my tools 
Pontius, Aulus, uh, Isolus, Shears, you name it. Some of these are heirlooms passed down for generations. <clears throat> I see you found Toby's supply of snack cakes. They're made from dried uh, crickets and mealworms. Even though he blathered. Excuse me. Even though he platters on about it, Toby loves bugs, and they're quite nutritious. Help, help yourself to one if you're hungry. Uh, that bolt of uh, material looks like leather, doesn't it? It's not. It's a uh, supple and durable material made from the. Here can't a mushroom. Perfect for saddle making. Sorry guys, I had to <coughs> run to the other room and cough because I could not hold it in. Oh, please be careful with that. My grandmother's journal documents traditional truth techniques that have all but been lost to history. I don't know what I'd do without that book. And that's all of them. <coughs> Always accounted for. I'm lucky you showed up when you did. Well, everything seems to be in order. And this time I made sure to uh, secure everything extra tight. Well, Toby, are you ready to hit the road again? I guess he is. Now, no, don't get your feathers in a bunch. I'll take it, it nice and slow this time. I'm just so excited that we're finally making my dream a real ad reality. <clears throat> Imagine a workshop dedicated to keeping your traditional techniques alive. If you should find yourself in Veldale, Evelyn, I hope you'll stop by. Perhaps I could even teach you a thing or two about sustainable cra uh, craftsmanship. Uh, craftsmanship. <clears throat> Thanks again for your help. Aiding, willing. We'll see each other again soon. Bye bye. <clears throat> and then we continue here where we should have uh, gone right away. But that happened, so why not do that again? And you can't go with a horse inside, so just by yourself. Yorla's tomb. And what's this? Some secrets. Mm. We'll get there someday. <coughs> and uh, maybe the reason why I have been putting so much videos and recording them is because at the start they give you a ton of uh, quests to do, but when uh, I will finally get those that you have to wait a day to do the next part, then maybe the video <coughs> videos may slow down and I could get a call for pickup and go faster to Conrad. <coughs> Here are your special uh, special medals. Up, uh, not too close. These are perfect symbols of shining ghost ore. Well done, Evelyn. Now I will just add the last small 
ornaments. While I am finishing these shoes, uh, find me some uh, horseshoe nails for a storekeeper. A long time ago, lo uh, a long time ago, long before both of you and I were born, an ancient tribe uh, lived here in Jorvik. They lived happily and in harmony with the spirits of nature, and their horses were full of power. Uh, full of powers we can't even imagine today. They had a big champ just south. Uh, they have had a big camp, not champ, camp, just outside of here on the sea uh, seashore. And you can find, and you can still find relics from that time there. Dig in the sand, and if you're lucky, you'll find some very old and special horseshoe nails. I only need eight ancient horseshoe nails. <coughs> oh, we will get a uh, clothes. Clothes from that. It was a jacket. <laughs> and yes, you said where we should go. <coughs> yes. To the beach. To get some rusty old nails from under the sand. Yes. That's good. Maybe we'll make them better before nailing them to my precious boots, hopefully. And eight nails. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then we go back. <laughs> Fine nails indeed. Now I will carry on working on the horseshoes. Come, come back later. I may need your help again. Mm. Riding one. I'll not properly use that. Okay. And uh, uh, wait a minute. How long have I been recording? Uh, eighteen minutes. Hmm. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Maybe I'll stop here. Some of my uh, videos have been like over 30 minutes, so I'm not trying to go way too overboard, but like next in the next episode we will do the way over the water. So we'll start uh, building the bridge so we could get to uh, get to <coughs> get to this side to harvest counties so I will see you guys in that episode bye